Hello and welcome everybody to chapter 8 of Let's Play Half-Life Opposing Forces. Last time we went through chapter 6 and 7 because 6 was too short to do it, but hey. Uh, so we did chapter 7. And this was a... Uh, we're going to do Vicarious Reality. This episode we actually have another... Uh, another Displacer Cannon moment. If we can use it. First up is... Uh, Right here. Oh, I wrong button. And here, uh, I was gonna press F6. You can use it right away to warp to here. Now you're with the scientist. Hey, right into the portal. You can teleport into an area immediately with a the scientist. There is, but yeah. There's several light shards and crystals. Now, the, the guy is supposed to be sent to the portal. And I'm gonna put you there. Okay, let's move you into the portal. Move into the portal. Move into the portal. I want you to get out of here. The, the scientist can actually go into the portal. There we are. Bye bye. You'll never be seen again. But he's rescued. Secret scientist rescue. Woo! Oh god. I'm guessing that was the scientist that just blew up. Biodome. Hmm, what's this? Never mind. Nothing. Maybe nothing. Okay. Leap up and pistol. Alright. No. Why is this broken? The glorified laser pointer. Okay. All right. Welcome to the biodome. Yes, they were keeping aliens in the biodome. Not even just that, they're creating a habitat, so they're made out of earth and things of the Zen creatures. But it looks like we'd enter into it. Head over there and head back, and some and some alien X here. Uh, you know what I mean. I'll show off the new weapon. Okay, four shots on those guys and they're dead. These things have basically have their main attack, and then they have the alien that they drop, which basically is a snark. It's your part snark. As you can see, it was this thing. Which is called a shock cannon. Go through this door. <laughs> Here, I'm pretty sure if you had some displacer ammo, you'd be able to warp to a new area. I don't have any. And hello! Those are the, that's the Volt Charger, I'm pretty sure. There's basically a mini boss. They fire. They fire orbs of electricity, and they are dead. They also explode when dead and killed. Things die when they are killed. Anyways, uh, give me a sec. Race X. Race X. Okay, that is called a Volt Voltagor. Okay, not a not a Volt Charger, a Voltagor. Very different enemies. Also, I turned this guy into uh, hams into pork into pork slices or pork chops. I don't have any ammo for that, for that thing, so I can't use it. Okay, shotgun worked really well against him. Head down this. Just give me a sec to scroll up again so I can actually go into more of the, the stuff. Vicious reality, or vicarious reality. Okay. Have the stairs. And hopefully find some more uranium ammo. Ow, frickin'. Two, two, three, four. Zap, 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 zap. You lost track of me, I guess. Thank you, uh, Gearbox, with your, with your not the best AI. It's dead. Ooh, snarks. I think that's an interesting thing, is that the snarks are inhabiting a, uh, a very much bloated headcrab. 
also. Okay, that's the pulse bits. Like about like it's like uh like full like it's like full of the uh the things. Like literally like they're using it as a hive amount. Also, uh doorway back to the the observation center. Again, don't have enough, don't have uh, uranium now, so I can't do anything with that. So blow that up. One smack of my mighty with my mighty hammer, aka known as the the, f the super strong wrench, of Adrian Shepard. Step, 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 step. Everything falls to Adrian Shepard's knife skills. After this uh, Black Mesa incident, she should become a freaking sushi chef. Not a sushi chef, a, a, uh, a chef somewhere. His knife skills would make a, a Gordon Ramsay blush. <laughs> freaking. Alright, let's head back and try the displacer cannon again. Let's put it there. So I have to walk back. And. Trying it out. No new area! In biological research going. In the worst worlds will explode. Let's try this. There it is! New area. Every loading zone is a new uh, zen area. Basically full of crystals and platforms. Oh, jump down here. Jump down here. There's an ammo packet. And a bunch of suits here. Something else. Ugh, that guy's back is freaking. Ah, snarks. Why not? Health! Everything is good! Health! Nothing there. You know what? Screw this pane of glass. It didn't work. As well as I thought it would. Screw this, this switch. Alright, never mind. Okay. All right. So how do I get through there? Jump, jump. Okay, got it. You jump. Climb up. Up behind us. No. Oh dear. <laughs> Look at those peculiar markings. Anyways, up here, it, and that's, and you can fall down gently on the door, shattering the glass entirely, below you, and very, very precariously leaping on it. Check both sides, and under. No worries over that. You can turn into another biodome area, one from looking Zen's atmosphere. Hmm, long corridor. What's this way? Danger. Yeah, we're not ready for that. Alright. Elevate time. I'm just gonna grab a shotgun ready just in case there's an enemy in there. Nope. No enemies. But hey, yes, a actual working elevator. <sighs> this seems like a bad idea to take, but I'll take it. I've soft locked myself. Let me out, let me out, let me out! Okay. Pull that up. Health! Alright. Okay, get shot by. Apparently, they have a. Death Star screen here. Watch them monitoring the Death Star. That that, that, the, that the people at the Half Life One scientists have apparently built, which wouldn't surprise me at this point because they're Half One Half Life One scientists. These guys would, would these guys literally would build a Death Star. It's Black Mesa. Though honestly, who wouldn't build a freaking Death Star? I I know how to get up there. Need this chair. Who? Can you roll down the steps? Yo! 
zoom, zoom, zoom. Jump on top, jump from here. Jump, jump, and in here. Find some snarks. Frickin'. Ow. Snarks. Frickin' snarks. Okay. Oh, I shattered the glass. Yeah, they're, they're straight up trying to imitate Zen's wi wildlife here. I have an idea. Some snarks. Deal with everything. Oh, there, it finally fires! Because it had to dry itself out. What was that? Oh, over here is a healing pool. Just heal up a bit. You know, drinking the cool liquid blue. And, uh, make sure you're not dying. Alright. Over here, in that corner, you notice that thing there. That is an ammo pod. For what, though, you'll find out. Mother. Right here. And over here. I lock myself into the thing. Go to self. Be careful where you jump. Grab this. Grab that. Okay. Remember, stairs. The, the enemy, or elevators, the enemy of Mr. Well, Shepard. Anyways, over here is the rocket launcher. Or, if I remember right, it actually has a name. I'm gonna try and remember. I'm just gonna boot it up to see if I can remember what it is. Uh, it's a race, uh, it's a weapon. Uh, I'll tell you the name in a bit, just give me a sec while I boot it up, just give me a sec while I boot it up. It's called, it's called, it's called, it's called, it's called, it is called the Spore Launcher. It's called the Spore Launcher. Basically launches spores as like, as like a shotgun. And then you feed it. Being completely organic. <laughs> There's some enemies here if you want to test it, but have a shotgun. I have a shotgun, they can do the exact same thing. So, yeah. Kind of saved this thing's life if you think about it. Oh! oh! Yeah, I blew that up. You're supposed to get your ammo from that thing, the spores. Oh, I wonder what this thing was looking at. Probably the spores of the uh, spore launcher. I'm guessing it was a Zen creature at one point. All right. Oh, hey, look, that thing. Oh, that's leading me to. Shiny, 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 shiny. Okay. Head in here. Oh, that's out of door. Down you go. Hmm. What's this? Message waiting. Ah, uh, yes, Walter. We were finally able to. Walter, as in Walter Breen. One of the barnacle creatures from its point of gestation. As before, we were still only able to coerce the creature into latching onto organic materials. Unfortunately, the administrator has called me down to the anomalous materials lab this morning for an important experiment. So I don't have any time to further my analysis. Take specimen number 1176 and log anything else you can find. Hmm. Breen or Wallace? Was it Walter or Wallace? Ah, uh, yes, Walter. We Walter. Walter. That name sounds familiar. Just give me a sec. Uh, Walter. 
Walter. Oh, uh, Walter is the uh, is a science is a science that appears in Blue Shift and Opposing Forces. He's the assistant. He's the assistant of Rosenberg. Of Doctor Rosenberg. Oh. And there is, and there it is, the one of the final weapons, the barnacle, able to, to latch on to other organic to other organic uh, substances like these lamp post things. Or actually, these things. I guess can I? No. Okay. It's basically being an organic uh, thing. It can shoot. It can shoot. It cannot attach to boxes. It cannot attach. It cannot attach to rocks. It can, however, attach to these. Can find you. Oh no! What? There it is. It can kill things that it latches onto. Just warn you. Basically, acts as a melee weapon or a grapple deck hook. See? Basically, like, like uh, dragging them in and killing them. Let's get the corpses. Alright, just show it off. You can use this to get across if you do that. And. No, 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 Headshot, baby. Got it. This or the alien weapon. That's something blue shift. Ne like, okay, opposing force has never really got good with was elevators. Here's like a little guy. We've gotten stuck on this. how many elevators now? I'm guessing he's probably tied to frame rate or something, but. Just wait for these guys to jump into each of the barnacles. Oh, they got, they're not affected. Three shots from the alien gun to kill them. Or... Just one shot them last. Let's put these barnacles out of their misery. Filthy feet. Feet are living in the water, I guess. And head on through. Head through. I want to eat these guys. Boom! Oh, appears these things aren't as allied as they seem. Despite being a great sex creature, they attack each other. Also, uh, more displacement ammo if we need it. There. And there probably is something here. Okay, that's the end of the mission, I guess. Six. Okay. Oh, never mind. The ball to follow. Okay. Avoid you. Break all the boxes and get as much as you can, avoiding the tentacles. You can tell the art, the land itself is artificial. What you need to do is use your good old barnacle and launch your way up there. You fall in the orb. Which I'm. Which we don't know what it is, actually, fun fact. Just. I think I have a theory on what it is, but. That's my guess. Probably having something to do with a certain fellow that we've met. Oh, hey, look. Hey, radio. And some ammo! Out of it too. For you, the saw as well. Thing for you.
I'm on my way. Okay, so some weird worm creatures are killing everything. But, okay, actually turn on night vision so we can see where we're going! Ah, uh, and we're stuck. Nonetheless, I'm going to end the episode here. Next time on Let's Play Half-Life, we're going to try and get around to getting unstuck. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.